Yeah, where'd she find the gun? I think I need the gun, right? Why the hell am I still here? Well, I, I don't I don't think I need the gun. I need a ticket. <laughs> we haven't heard anything about a ticket yet, so I have uh, no idea. Um, right. Through this doorway. Okay, so this is just miraculously unlocked. Okay. Alright, so this bit hasn't changed too much. Yeah, so the rec room. Alright. Through here? That's it. Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? This is not the rec room I remember. What's with the tank traps and the barbed wire? And the corpses. Wow. Is this actually what the place used to look like? I can't imagine it was exactly like this. Oh, hang on. Have we got to go under there? I mean, I don't want to be tangled up like that guy, really. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, alright. <laughs> oh, alright. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be such a level of threat in this game. What's going on here? Oh. I think it's a little bit flooded. Through here? Yeah, I guess so. Well, the fire's still going, despite that. Right, I suppose what we got to do, we got to get to the piano, haven't we? Yeah, oh. Hang on. What's the Whoa! <laughs> okay. You really didn't like that book, apparently. Just out of interest, what were you reading? You really love these dusty old tomes, don't you? We never read many books, just listened to father's war stories. Made me want to go out on an adventure of my own. Are they enough, Jean? Your books, do they make you feel alive? Hmm. Right. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Okay, the radiator, again, still got problems. But I'm kind of glad about that. So let's see. Wait, hang on. What? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, the barbed wire's gone. Alright. Oh. Now, how does that make sense? That was a really loud noise. Surely I'd be able to see everything, rather than nothing. Hmm. Anyway, something seems to be left on this stool here. It's another note. Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, you're my last hope. While we are always eager for more Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, we are unable to offer you... Pilarkey. See what I can do at home. At the very, very least. Right, okay, and maybe that's why this was turned into... What a shame. What a stupid... Shame. Some sort of makeshift hospital? Alright, okay. Uh, where next? Upstairs, I suppose? To the, to, the, to the bedrooms and stuff? It's weird, actually. Not so many groans and stuff from the house when I hit my cane. It doesn't seem to be listening. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Right. <laughs> Hang on, weren't they sandbags? Blimey, that must have taken some doing, getting all up the stairs. Oh shit, okay, quite a, uh, quite a lot of sandbags, actually. Yeah, it, it really does feel kind of different, this chapter. I have no problem hitting my cane as many times as, as I want. It doesn't feel like anything's going to happen. What the hell? Oh. Now, I did see you last time. Just just a flash. It's that dull. Alright, okay. Yeah, sure, that's where I need to go. Yes, the doll that I want nothing to do with with Atlas. Yeah, okay, alright, yeah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just keep you in your prison, shall we? So, through here. Hang on, what's this? Oh. Oh, this is it. This is the end of it. Okay, sure. Come on, Delphi. Don't let me down now. Delphi. Text to speech. It's letting me down.
maybe turn your phone off and on again? I, I don't know. Okay. Fixes a lot of things. Ooh. Did, did it just say behind you? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Now I'm kind of unnerved. Here we go. Right. What the hell? Oh. What are these? Oh, is it, oh, is it, there's skulls? Oh, shit. All right. Oh, she broke free. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, I, I can't imagine this was actually an installation in the house a few decades ago. <laughs> it just doesn't seem right, you know? Okay. Uh, are we heading this way? I, I suppose so, right? Yeah, there's a doorway to the left. So we're heading that way. Right, okay, just out of interest. Anything over here? No? Doesn't really look like it. No, okay. Through here, then. Oh. Ah, it's probably locked. <laughs> Whatever. I'm okay with that. Alright. So let's see. I'm trying to remember what the house used to look like. There's a lot of rooms in this place. Well, it seems that this time it's a bedroom. Okay. Anything over here? Oh, there's that hammer that I think I saw last time. I guess that's quite an old one. Is that somewhere to hide or... Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind, just sandbags. Right. Where do we need to go? I, I mean, I could just press control, but... It really does feel like cheating. I want to stay away from that. Something here? Hang on. Oh, yep, yeah, we do. Petty, All right. Petty, petty, petty. We don't need anyone else to run the switchboards. How about this? Be a doll and take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. <sighs> yeah, I suppose. Is she okay with this? Oh, hang on. When I kneel to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. A hope chest? Is that a hope chest? True. Oh, maybe. Inside okay. that chest are our dreams, Jean. Not the gun, We're though. Keeping them <laughs> safe on our end. So you do your duty over there, and we'll be right as rain soon enough. Okay. It, oh, all right. Uh, I guess we didn't want any of that stuff. I'm coming for you. What? I I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. What the? Ooh. <laughs> I do like how everything does seem to shift around you. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Is that uh, is that Betty up there? So many graves. Ah, oh, Jean died then, right? Just a little longer, Jean. I assume. I know this isn't real, but the pain sure is. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a key! Oh, I didn't even notice the key. <laughs> a barn, right. Oh, yeah, okay. The, the, I am the, coming for you. Oh, shit. It's the presents. Okay, alright. Let's go this way. I think I actually do need to go that way, though. That dot over there, that white dot. <laughs> I think that might be the barn. How big is this place? This is insane. All right. Um, okay. So. All right. Now this is kind of cool. It does seem to be a bit of a threat here. I I, I think the presence. I think it it's in front of me. It's very difficult to see. In fact, it's impossible to see when it's this black. Thank you, lightning strikes. <laughs> Let's go around the outside. Maybe I can I can just get to the door. Yeah, I think I think that's where we're heading. Ooh. All right, so we got like um, a mausoleum and a crypt around here. Apparently, whoa. Okay. Explore for next goal. Well, I think the next goal's over there. All right. Are we okay? 
I saw the presence briefly and now it seems to have disappeared somewhere. I just, I don't want to run into it. I'm sure that's not going to be a good idea. Ah, here we go, here we go. Is it the door? Oh, no, this is the door I came through. How the hell did we get there? Right, um... Hmm, well, let's, let's, yeah, okay, let's keep going around the outside. And that tree kind of <laughs> scared me a little bit, honestly. Nothing? No? Okay. Where are we going now? Alright, we've we got a couple doors here. Can we... Right. That's a bit alarming that I can't see anything. What? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, is this it? This, this must be the barn. Oh, and that's the padlock? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Nice little shortcut there. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Where next? Any owls gonna fly in my face? No, not this time. Not this time. Okay. Ah, looks like we have a note. Yeah. Dear Jean, I haven't heard from you in three weeks. Where are you? This is unlike you. And the house has been... quiet. Yours forever, Betty. Why she didn't send this? Well, she was crouching in front of a grave. Maybe she knew that he was dead. I promise. Megan met me under the apple tree that night. Nice. Um, okay. Did we come all the way to the barn for that, or is there is there something more? Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. What's this? A pole? I should really check out that attic. <laughs> I was just all right. I was so occupied with the gun, I completely forgot about that. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess we can go in the attic now. Maybe the gun's in the attic. Yeah. Maybe that's the case. All right. Um. And I guess that's the main house. Do we have to go through the shed and and out of the crypt to get back, or I don't know. Maybe not. I think that. Whoa. Practice, oh, no, practice, Betty. practice. You don't need fancy tools to disassemble your gun. Use the cartridge here as a screwdriver. Yes, Jean, just like I showed you. Now let's get a stopwatch and have some fun. Ah, oh, target practice, right. Huh. Okay. Yeah, uh, before Betty appeared and gave me a bit of a, a shock, I was just going to say, I think the presence has gone away now. It seems that when the presence does turn up, it's very, very easy to evade it. Her. Him. Whatever you want to call it. So let's see, through here, yeah. Did I have a look at this? Here it is. My last shot. Come on, Roger. Dear Elizabeth, I'm not sure what you mean by being ready and able to fight. You're five feet two and a hundred pounds soaking wet. How could you ever hold your own against a German brute? Think about holding down the fort instead. Think of the good you can do with a victory garden and a can drive. <sighs> Why won't anyone give me a goddamn chance? Despite being turned down, I get every possible opportunity. I mean, she's got spirit. You gotta give her that. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, oh, that's right. This is pretty much where I started, wasn't it? So, yeah, we go through here, through the dining room. The new dining room, or the old dining room, I suppose. Um, up the stairs. What's going on? It's up here. Oh! I don't remember that being there. Was that there before? Certainly wasn't on. Right. Yeah, anyway, yeah, this is just another diversion. I'm, uh, I'm on my way to the attic now. Okay, so pull the door. Uh, oh, yep, and, then, and get out of the way so I don't get crushed. Okay, so we found the pole. We can go into the attic. We're still looking for a gun, and we're still looking for a ticket. We haven't seen anything about a ticket yet. 
Okay. Well, there's something making noise over there, I guess. Through here, yep, yeah, seems to work. Oh, no, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's keeping me going in this game isn't so much the gameplay, because honestly, that is simple. The way to my man in Europe. Yeah, but the gameplay is simple. I think it's the story. I want to know how the house connects to all these people. I want to know how I'm connected to the house. I don't think I've got much to do with it, really. I don't think I ever stayed here. Is that another note? Yes. Yes, it is. Dearest Jean, it seems my luck has finally turned around. I received a phone call from the Silver Star Line, and it turns out I won a trip to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be boarding the flagship Silver Star next week, and we'll soon be crossing the ocean to come find you. Hang tight. I will be on my way in no time. Faithfully, Betty. All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's uh, thought outside the box, I guess. Morse code. I know this. Hang on a sec. Betty. Oh, yeah. I am coming home. Jean is coming? On my way home. Uh, honorable discharge. Love you. Shit, she can't get on that boat. He's coming back. That must be why she hasn't heard from him. Ah. So they're just going to sort of swap places? I better find my way to that foghorn stat. Yep, okay. Uh, well, I guess the foghorn's going to be down there at that doorway. Uh, sure. Right, so we're done in the attic, are we? Okay. We may be coming back here in, in chapter 3, 4, or, or something like that. I don't know, but um, I'm not seeing anything that's lighting up. I think the items, they do emit a little bit of a glow after you hear them. But, uh, yeah. Nothing as of yet. Apart from that note. So around here again. Okay, yep. Down the stairs. Let's head to that doorway. Yeah, I should be seeing sound waves from that, you know? Hmm. Just a little bit of tweaking. This game could be something special. I, I think it's sort of a little lackluster at the moment. Down here? Okay. It's not the rec room door again, is it? It's, it's in that sort of area. Right. Oh, no, this is... Um, this is the, the bathroom that got destroyed. And what was that? Close the door. Silver Star... Oh, right. Oh, hang on, are we are we climbing aboard? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Alright, hang on. Oh. No, oh. no, no, no. Oh, Betty. Oh, fuck's sake. Betty, you, you can't. He's on his way. Oh, hang on. Why? Why did this fucking house do this to her? That's the ticket, isn't it? Wait. The ticket from my dream. Yeah. That's the item. That's it. That's <laughs> that's what this entire chapter's been about. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees me. Boston to Lisbon. Wow, that's tragic. Are all these stories going to be horrifically tragic? And it's all this house. Right? Oh, hang on. Wait. Here again? Oh, the damn tree. What is it with the tree? Does this mean I solved it? Maybe. Yeah, this might be the end of the second chapter. What do we got this time? It doesn't seem to be a locket. A sack? A little bag or something? The sailors in town bought her herb sachets. I laughed at the notion of a man wanting to smell sweet. But then I was told they were for protection. Old Tully'd sworn that it was one of her sachets that kept his ship afloat in a wretched squall. He clutched it to his chest like a cross. Right. Who is that exactly? Yeah. Was that it? Oh no. No, 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 no. Hide. Yes, hide. Oh shit. How do yeah, hide, hide. From something or other. I don't know. Right. Don't know where the body went. Are we okay? You know, things aren't changing colour, so I guess the presence isn't anywhere near us. I think that's how it works. I... 
Let's leave. I, I can't deal with that dripping. <laughs> it's like a, a form of torture, that is. Um, okay. Yeah, this way. What? Okay, we got cogs. Can I pick them up or anything? No. Uh, right. It's changed again? Oh, whoa. Holy shit! I'm guessing it is. Phone booths or police boxes. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's not how it works in this game. Uh, right, okay, so this is the start of a new chapter, so this is going to be the end of this video. Uh, join me back next time where we start chapter three, and I suppose we begin looking for an apple in yet another time period. See you then. Whoa, what the fuck? This is not the rec room I remember. What's with the tank traps and the barbed wire? And the corpses. The ch Whoa! <laughs> okay, you really didn't like that book, apparently. <laughs> oh, the barbed wire's gone. All right. Let Ooh. Now, how does that make sense? That was a really loud noise. Surely, I'd be able to see everything rather than nothing. <laughs> Hang on, were these sandbags? Blimey, I mean, that must have taken some doing, getting all up the stairs. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, quite a uh, quite a lot of sandbags, actually. Maybe turn your phone off and on again. I, I don't know. Okay. Fixes a lot of things. Ooh. Did... Did it just say behind you? What the... Ooh. <laughs> That's a bit alarming that I can't see anything. What? What? Oh, okay, what's this? A pole? I should really check out that attic. Oh! <laughs> I was just all right. I was so occupied with the gun, I completely forgot about that. Silver star. Oh right. Oh, hang on. Are we are we climbing aboard? <laughs> Let's leave. I, I can't deal with that dripping. <laughs> it's like a a form of torture. That is.